Today, what we're going to be discussing is about the administrative and office management. Uh, the course actually is a study of a different phases of uh, administrative office management and its vital role in the business organization. It also includes the importance of uh, having to have, understand the better management, the technology that is going to be installed, management decision making, and the need for good planning towards the job satisfaction and self-actualization. It will cover a lot of uh, topics that pertains to the office, the administrative and office management. Managing a culturally diverse workforce is also being tackled later on. And the managing the administrative services and controlling administrative services is also part of it. At the end of the course, uh, the students will be able to understand and demonstrate a good communication skills that is essential to daily office administration. The student will be able to demonstrate uh, good supervision skills and motivation techniques. Student will also be able to manage and control administrative services and demonstrate and integrate the Benedictine values of conversion, discipline, obedience and stewardship in upholding academic honesty and professionalism. An administrative officer responsibilities will include the following. Number one is to manage, managing office supplies, stock and placing orders even is part of it. So these are only a small part of what an administrative officer can do. Now preparing regular financial and administrative reports is also part of her duties. And then the administration of company databases will also be under her responsibilities. Now, an administrative officer job also uh, has its own template of a job description. And that job description would all entail a lot of the responsibilities, the duties and the responsibilities that a particular administrative officer is expected to direct his office. Uh, a successful administrative officer will act as a point of contact for all employees, providing the administrative support and managing their queries. So anything has something to do with the policies, regulations, orientations is a part of a successful administrative officer. Now the main duties will also include managing office stocks, inventories, preparing a regular report. Example, expenses and budgets are also within the capacity of the responsibility of an office <coughs> administrator. Now, uh, in organizing the company records and to make it more efficient, updated, and uh, 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 more credible in terms of report uh, access, access to all of the transactions. Now, uh, the, the experience is an important uh, factors of having to have an efficient uh, office administration uh, or administrator for that matter because it entails a lot of credibility in doing so. It entails a lot of perseverance into keeping uh, the day-to-day -day operations of a particular company. So therefore, uh, he, uh, an administrative officer should adhere to the policies, to the regulations, and well adapt in the, in the regulations, in the, in the uh, prevailing laws of the land as far as the operations and the legalities of the existence of the organization that uh, he is or she is administering. In today's technology, te technological savvy world, an administrative officer is expected to know uh, and uh, to know on how to navigate the computer, the databases, the internet, and, uh, the apps, that are being offered now by the industries. It is a continuous learning for the administrative officer to be able to introduce new measures in the efficiency of how to handle a particular office that he is uh, or she is managing. Now, uh, on top of uh, the responsibilities of the, uh, of the uh, administrative officer and making sure and that the administrative act activities can run smoothly on a daily and a long-term basis. So part of the focus of the responsibilities are the following. 
uh, besides managing office supplies, the stocks, and placing orders for procurements and all of those stuff, they prepare a regular reports on expenses and office budgets. And they maintain and update company databases and organize a filing system for important and confidential company records and documents. Uh, the uh, administrative officer also answer queries by the employees and clients as well, and all of the stakeholders. Now, uh, the uh, admin office and uh, should also be updated in terms of office policies that are needed to be employed. And then uh, the distribution and the storage of the correspondence are also within the watch of the administrative officers. For example, letters or emails or uh, packages are also part of their responsibilities. The admin officers should also uh, prepare reports and prepare presentations with a basis for the statistical data and basis of, uh, in anything that could uh, strengthen the, the claims, strengthen the figures that are being presented during reports. And the admin should also uh, arrange travel plans, accommodations, itineraries now for the higher level officers. Now the schedule in in-house and external events are also part of her uh, turf, no? her or his turf there. So uh, the responsibilities lie solely largely on the admin officers uh, as part of her duties and function. Qualifications are much needed. Uh, experience are much needed for you to be able to qualify as the admin or administrative officer or office manage manager because uh, what what the company are seeing for them to be able to engage someone or uh, hire someone that has that got, uh, the capability of being such has something to do with uh, a lot of experiences and exposure in the industry that they are actually wanting to join uh, what are uh, being um, assessed or uh, considered you know, for you to be able to join in and be part of a particular company as a uh, office management? So number one is the proven ex work experience uh, as related you know, as administrative officer or administrator or the similar role. And uh, one has to have a solid knowledge about uh, office procedures. An admin officer should also be uh, very strong in the knowledge about uh, uh, and experience with office management uh, software like uh, the MS Office, the Excel, and the MS Word specifically because they are mostly uh, uh, one, uh, an administrator do a lot of communications. And these tools and app are needed in, the communica in communicating and as a tool for you to be able to engage yourself in navigating the computer. And one has also a strong organizational skills. Uh, even a higher problem-solving attitude are needed. So, uh, uh, because there are a lot of, uh, 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 re you will have to resolve a lot of thinking process. You will have to resolve a lot of uh, cases wherein uh, you alone can decide on matters before making any recommendation to the higher level officers. Now, excellent written and verbal communication skills are also part of a, 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 a very efficient administrative officer. Uh, planning, coordinating administrative procedures and systems, and uh, devising ways of streamlining processes are also uh, being part of the responsibilities of the, um, of the uh, administration officers. Uh, it is uh, uh, perennial you know, for one to have this kind of uh, knowledge about things. Now, um, yes, no, so planning and coordinating are part of the procedures and system that, uh, you know, streamline processes. And then uh, recruiting and training personnel are also being engaged by the administrative officers and allocating responsibilities and office spaces also are the one in her watch. So she, she allocates no, spaces, offices, equipments even. Now, uh, assessing staff performance and providing coaching and guidance to ensure maximum efficiency are being directed in their uh, uh, duties and procedures. 
And of course, the administration manager job description is also part of her turf. A uh, great uh, administration manager has excellent communication and organizational skills. Must to have one and must to have a very strong qualification at that. Uh, the ideal candidate will be well versed in departmental procedures, uh, procedures and policies uh, that will be able to actively discover new ways and be innovative to do the job more efficiently. So they have to find ways you know, and do things that uh, make it more efficient and uh, smooth in the operations of the functions of administrative officer. Now the, the, the goal is to ensure all support activities are carried on efficiently and effectively to allow the other operations to function properly and efficiently. Now part of the responsibilities is plan and coordinate the administrative uh, procedures and systems and device ways of streamlining processes as I mentioned earlier. Now and the recruitment and the training uh, of personnel and the allocation of responsibilities of office spaces are also uh, being honed and being um, practiced efficiently uh, based on resources. You know? So these are the part of uh, you know being uh, savvy about uh, doing things you know, to direct your responsibility as an administrative officer. Now assess staff performance and provide coaching and guidance to ensure the maximum efficiency. So you will have to make a design on how to assess properly by coming up with a lot of uh, devices for you to be able to determine the right, uh, the right uh, uh, evaluate, uh, evaluation, evaluated measures. You now for you to be able to engage you now all of the without bias about the performance of all those who are going to be assessed and evaluated. Now uh, the administrative officer will also ensure the smooth an adequate flow of uh, information within uh, the company to facilitate other business operations. So it's very much important. Uh, they have to know the, uh, the coordination, the correlation of every officer for the smooth uh, ma materials that are needed you know, for in communication tools. Administrative officers also manage schedules and deadlines. Now they monitor the inventory of the office, office supplies and also uh, uh, engage in the purchasing of new materials, uh, monitor the cost no, of the procurement process, uh, monitor the inventory of the office supplies, uh, monitor the expenses to assist the budget preparations, and oversee the facility facilities um, services like maintenance activities and trade persons, as example, the electricians. Uh, the wiring man or something like that. Now organize and supervise other activities such as uh, the recycling procedures, uh, the renovations, the event planning and many more. Now ensuring the operations adhere to policies and regulations. So all of these uh, activities should adhere to the prevailing rules, laws and regulations. Now uh, the admin officer should also keep abreast with all the organizational changes and business developments requirements that has uh, now uh, what yeah so what are needed is a proven experience as administrative manager or administration manager now the in-depth understanding of the office management procedures and familiarity with the financial facilities management principles Proficient in MS offices and any um, computerized um, equipment and facilities. Uh, an analytical mind uh, with problem solving skills are needed actually and uh, it's a must. Because there are things that you will have to decide yourself before coming up with uh, recommendations to be uh, adopted by the uh, higher level officers. Now the excellent Organizational and multitasking activities are expected even because there are things that you will have to do things um, simultaneously uh, with a lot of uh, you know a lot of multitasking skills that are needed you no know, in, 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 in in doing your 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 function as administrative officers. Um, 
Okay, so on top of that, you should be a team player. A team player with a strong leadership skills because you will have to be followed by your peers. You will have to be uh, he uh, he heard by the higher level officers even. Go betweeners between the you know, low level, uh, I'm sorry, the low uh, officers, officer levels and the higher officer levels. So therefore, you will have to be a team player at that. Now, um, that is how uh, uh, we, we normally define what an administrative and office manager is all about. You have to have a lot of skills in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, doing things on your own, but uh, in the context of, uh, uh, in the context of efficiency and uh, with uh, finest legality on it. So there, uh, ladies and gentlemen, so uh, the, the, the discussion about administrative officer uh, as part of uh, the learning process are now ending. So uh, uh, I'll see you again in my next chapter discussion. Thank you. So I have already discussed uh, chapter one of the uh, administrative officer responsibilities. And somehow we've learned about the uh, uh, the uh, how a characteristic of an administrative officer should be. Okay, thank you very much for listening and see you again in my next chapter discussion. Thank you.